Hey, what's going on there, everyone? Today's video is going to be covering light bands. Uh, this is a premium banning plugin you can go by on Spigot, but uh, specifically, I'm going to be going over how to set up and use the web interface. This allows you to sort of moderate and see all the different types of transactions that has happened on your server, which is pretty cool. Uh, so I'm going to be covering how to install it and set this up, and you can click this link on the Spigot page. I will leave this link down in the description as well. But here are the requirements requirements that you'll need. You'll need some sort of web hosting service and then a database to sync it all up with. So I'm going to be using a revive node for the web hosting plan as well as the Minecraft hosting plan and uh, this is just how I'm going to be setting it up. It's going to be pretty similar to other hosting uh, web service as well. There might be a few differences but it's pretty much going to be the same process. Before we get into a light band setup, today's video is brought to you by mcplugins.io. They are a new marketplace and forum so go ahead and roll the clip. Be sure you sign up using my affiliate link down in the description that will give you an additional 30% off of some of the rank perks as well as advertising slots for MC plugins so make sure you go check it out link is down in the description. So getting started you need to go ahead and set up your specific database and so uh, here we have uh, our direct admin web panel. You might be using cPanel if you're on a different host, uh, but you just want to go ahead and make your own database, and we can create one right here. I'm just going to call this uh, Light Bands, just like so, and then we can click this little uh, icon. This will generate a password for us, and we can create the database. So once you have your database set up for your web server, now we can input all this information to our Minecraft server's uh, Light Bands config. So we can go into, you know, our plugins folder, we can go into light bands, and then go into your main config.yml. You want to come down here to where you have the SQL section, and then here is where we're going to be inputting all our information. So we can change this to MySQL. Now we need the address of our specific web server's uh, MySQL uh, IP. And for revive node, it's going to be this uh, 178.63.127.188, uh, and then the 3306 is the default MySQL port. So that is the address that I'm going to be using. If you're using a different hosting provider, you need to ask them what the address of the web server's SQL is. So once we have on that address set up, now we need to get the database information, and that is clearly provided right here. So it's pretty much just copy and pasting at this point. Username is going to be the same thing, and then now we can get our specific password just like so, and we can input that. So now we're pretty much done, honestly. So once we have that uh, all set up, we can go ahead and save this. So that's pretty much everything that we need set up. There's a few other different things you can change in here if you want to. I'm just going to leave pretty much everything else at default and we'll just keep this uh, how we change. So we can go ahead and save the content and I'm going to go back to my console and we'll restart the server. So we restarted the server and it's uh, connecting to the database but it failed to connect because uh, it doesn't have access for that specific user and so typically you need to allow that specific IP to uh, have access to the web server. So uh, to do that, we can go to our SQL management again, go into that specific database, and then we can uh, put in that specific IP. Uh, you just need the, the base IP, and we can do add new, and that will put it in access host. Um, in your uh, cPanel, if you're using that for your uh, web server, it's pretty much the same thing. You just need to uh, allow the host to connect. So once we have added that, that should allow our server now to connect. So let's go ahead and restart and see what happens. After restarting the server, we can see that our light bands has connected to our web server's MySQL database, and so everything on the server side is working perfectly as long as you get this specific message saying that it did connect. Next, we can go ahead and start adding our specific web uh, files, and so we can go to the installation here on the specific wiki, and go ahead and just click uh, that specific link and we'll download your files. Then we can go to our web server, and then we can go to our file manager. And then in here, this is where we're going to be adding all of our files. You can use FileZilla or WinCP uh, to upload your files, but we need to go into the public underscore HTML. 
And then in here, I'm gonna make a new folder called bands. So this would pretty much redirect anyone that has your base domain. And then you can do slash bands and that will take you to the bands interface. Uh, you can do like punishments or, you know, uh, <laughs> something along those lines, but I'm just gonna keep it pretty straightforward and we'll keep it banned. So I'm gonna enter that folder and then I'm gonna drag my zip file in here. You can extract it before um, you wanna upload it. Uh, either way, you, you can do either, either one is fine. So then I can extract this. And so this would go ahead and extract it in here and we should get another folder uh, right there. So here is all our specific uh, files that we need. I'm gonna copy all of these files here real quick. And then we're gonna be putting them in our base bands folder because they are in this uh, lightbandsphp.master. So I want to pretty much just copy and move these and we're gonna go back to our specific bands right here. And I'm gonna head and just move them over there uh, like so. Now, if we go to our specific bands interface, so now as you can see, all the, the base files are properly in the bands folder because that is what you want. You typically don't want a subfolder in the band, so that's why we moved everything out. So now we can go to our specific uh, domain. So here is my base domain, soulsmc.tk. This is just something I made. Uh, so now we can go to our specific bands folder that we have. So we can just pretty much do slash bands. This should take us to the, the web interface. So now we have this unconfigured screen. So, so far everything is working, but we need to set up the database. So we can go into this path, this um, INC and then settings.php. So we can go to this uh, INC right here, go into that folder and here is the specific settings.php. We can go ahead and open that. And then here is where we're gonna be importing all the different types of uh, settings. Here we have all the database information. If you made the database on the, the web server like we did, so if we go to our web server, here is our database. So we made it on the web server, so we can keep this as local host. And then now we need just to change the database name, user, and password. And so I'm just gonna get this from the plugin file since we have it all right there. And we can just copy and paste that in right here. And then just the password is gonna be the password just like so. So all that is pretty much done now. Make sure this table prefix matches what the plugin has. So yes, it does match the table prefix. So that is looking perfect. And then, you know, it is the MySQL and everything uh, is pretty much ready to go. There's a few other additional things you can change in here if you want, but I'm gonna hit and save that. Now we can go back uh, and try to hit continue and see what happens. So we'll hit continue. And there we go, guys. Now our web interface is successfully synced up to our Minecraft server, which is so cool. And then here is a few other additional things you can do. You can do the kicks, warnings, mutes. Uh, so if we go to our council and say, you know, let's like uh, ban test for uh, hacking or something. So we can ban someone and the council has banned test for hacking. Now, if we come back to our bands right here, there we go. The player test has been banned for council for hacking. And then here you can see the date and when it expires and you can check uh, whoever is, you know, banned or something. But that is how you set up your light bands and web interface face for your Minecraft server. Let me know if you have any questions. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.